Hello, today I will discuss about 33 KB capacitor bank in a substation. Before you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press the bell button for notification in future video to be uploaded. In this figure, a 33 KB 10 MHz capacity capacitor bank has been shown. The red circle has been shown two capacitor unit in parallel combination. Here two parallel combination is connected in series in each phase that is in case of R phase, Y phase and B phase. There are two star uh, that is double star connection in the capacitor bank. In this diagram the series reactor in each phase in each star has been shown since it is double star connected therefore number of series reactor are 6. In this figure the NCT has been shown NCT means neutral CT the ratio of NCT here 5 by 1 although it may be 5, uh, 2 by 1 or 3 by 1. The equivalent circuit of double star capacitor bank has been shown in this figure. In this figure you can see in each phase in each star there are series reactor and NCT is connected in between the star point. Now we will calculate the capacitance unit value for 10 MHz capacity capacitor bank. For that, we first convert the parallel combination capacitor unit to a single unit. If C is the value of capacitance of each unit, then for each parallel combination, the value of becomes 2C. The 2C and 2C in series that is comes to C. Therefore, equivalent capacitance for one phase for one star is C. Now the equivalent diagram for double star capacitor banks is shown in this figure. Therefore the equivalent capacitance for each phase for each double star comes to 2C as shown in this figure. Now you know that capacitive reactance is 1 by omega C where omega is equal to 2 into pi into F. F is the frequency of the system. Here C is 2C, therefore XC, that is each phase capacitance is equal to 1 by omega into 2C. Therefore, reactive power per phase comes to V phase whole square by XC, that is V phase square into omega into 2C. For 3 phase total reactive power comes to 3 into V phase square into omega into 2C. Now the phase voltage V phase equal to 33 kV by 1.732 that's come to 19.05 kV. Since the capacity of the capacitor bank is 10 MHz, if we simplify the equation then the capacitance of each unit comes to 14.62 microfarad. Now what is the use of capacitor bank in a substation? In a substation, there are many sources of inductive power or lagging um, megabar or bar that is motor, it may be transformer and fluorescent lamp etc. Unity power factor means electrical power is utilized effectively and what is the meaning of pore power factor? Pore factor, power factor means pore utilization of electrical power. In a substation, capacitor bank improve the power factor by nullify the inductive power. Now how does the capacitor bank improve the power factor? The power factor is the ratio of the active power to the apparent power. The power triangle has been shown in this diagram. In this diagram Vi cos phi is the active power, Vi sin phi is the reactive power and Vi is the apparent power. Here phi is the power factor angle and cos phi is the power factor. Now. How does the power factor is improved has been shown in this vector diagram. In this diagram, I is the lagging current which is lagged by voltage by power factor angle phi. After switching on the capacitor bank, the power factor angle is improved to delta and the current comes to I dash. 
since the capacitor bank capacity is 10 megabar the reactive power will be injected in the system will be 175 ampere per phase therefore switching of capacitor bank is done depending upon the load mainly in substation switching is done um, during peak load period in peak load period the most of the lagging power, power factor load in lagging power factor load is nullified and it improves the power factor now in this figure you can see the how the capacitor bank improve the power factor before switching of the capacitor bank ur is the reactive power of the system after switching on the capacitor bank the uh, reactive power comes to qr minus qc where qc is the uh, active um, reactive power injected uh, to the system by capacitor bank it is leading reactive power or good quality of reactive power since the power factor is improved uh, it will draw less current from the system therefore the line losses are uh, will be comes to lower therefore it will be less drop in the line it automatically improve the voltage profile of the system now what is the use of series re inductor or reactor in each capacitor bank when we switch on the capacitor bank the capacitor unit uh, will act as the short circuit therefore it will take huge amount of inverse current to limit this inverse current and during switch on of the capacitor bank series reactor are used now what is the use of in city or neutral city in the capacitor bank in between the star point now the rating of each capacitor unit is 10.9 kb now if the capacitor unit in uh, if a capacitor unit fails or is going to be fail the value of the capacitor will increase and the re capacitive reactance will decrease therefore the parallel unit will uh, turn to more voltage stays to safeguard the healthy capacitor therefore an alarm and trip condition of the capacitor bank has been provided by means of NCT the secondary of the NCT has been connected to the neutral unbalanced relay Mm, the neutral unbalanced relay uh, there are two contact one contact uh, is connected for alarm circuit by means of l101 and l103 and another contact by means of k101 and k103 has been connected for the tripping circuit that is 86 and then by 86 it is connected to the tc1 and tc2 of the circuit breaker of the capacitor bank unit to save the other healthy unit of the capacitor bank